One week from today, Democrats will try to pull off a political rarity, override a presidential veto. The battle is over an expansion of the Children's Health Insurance Program that a 12-year-old activist has become the center of the story. Graham Frost was left with severe brain injuries from a near-fatal car crash, but it hasn't stopped him from lobbying, working with Democrats to expand the state children's health insurance program known as S-CHIP. Democrats even picked Graham to give their weekly radio address. I don't know why President Bush wants to stop kids who really need help from getting CHIP. I just hope the president will listen to my story and help other kids to be as lucky as me. Conservative bloggers like Michelle Malkin pounced, claiming the Frost family is a fraud, too wealthy for government assistance. One accusation, that Graham attends a $20,000 a year private school. The family insists scholarships cover most of that bill. Some of the accusations may be exaggerated or false, but did the Democrats make a tactical error in holding up Graham as their poster child? I think in this instance what happened was the Democrats didn't do as much of a vetting as they could have done on this young man, his situation, his family. Bloggers also posted the Frost family's home address, blurred here to protect their privacy. And yesterday on his radio show, Rush Limbaugh continued the attacks. Now the dirty little secret is this. The Democrats put lies into the Frost kid's head. A 12-year-old kid being used to advance a distortion and a lie. The Frost family refused to show their tax returns to a local reporter. Congressional observers point out that regardless of which issue was being debated, these cutthroat tactics are part of a new and distasteful trend. More and more Congress is acting less like a deliberative legislative body and more like a political campaign. We've been seeing the politicization of every aspect of government. And we should point out as well, Graham's parents, Halsey and Bonnie Frost, still do not have health insurance.